This influencer known as Clean Girl is ruining graves for views. What makes the situation even more concerning is that her content is largely marketed towards children. Could Clean Girl be presenting her actions as a selfless act, supposedly cleaning grave sites out of respect? Or is it possible that the controversy surrounding these videos is a calculated strategy to promote her new Clean Girl product? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis Show, and on this day today, I bring to you the pink sauce lady of cleaning, anti back suit this cleaner that's pink magic foaming spray. I mean, what else can it do? Can it pay my bills and do my laundry as well? But today's video, ladies and gentlemen, raises a lot of questions. Is it ethical? Is it morally absurd? Is she going to be arrested? Amy an abandoned grave. This is the tiniest grave I've ever seen. I wonder who's buried here. <gasps> This is a baby's grave. Now, while on the surface, it may seem like a wonderful thing she's doing, cleaning the rest in place of a person's deceased loved one. But if you compare her content to the genuine grave cleaner creators that are out there, it's night and day difference. I mean, she runs a f***ing vacuum over the grave, for Christ's sake. It looks like it's been here for 500 years. How did this grave get so dirty? Well, you know, so much for resting in peace. But this is meant to be the final resting place. We all love brick. He'll long be remembered and he'll be sorely missed. Come on, that's it! Come on, you yeah. Not to mention she meddles with babies' graves as well without asking any sort of permission. And before you make any judgments, right, I haven't given you the full story yet. So let me break it down for you, ladies and gentlemen, by answering four simple questions. Who, what, why, and how? So let's start with the first question. Who is she? Well, she's an entitled privilege influencer who doesn't understand the concept of respect. That's the short version. Now let me give you the longer version. She's a YouTuber and TikToker who goes by the name of Clean Girl. She posts several cleaning videos, not only cleaning the grave sites, but also uploads videos of her cleaning the McDonald's f***ing bathroom. Yeah, and she don't wear no gloves either. Cleaning McDonald's bathroom for free. I just want to make this toilet beautiful for everyone to enjoy. I have a passion for public restroom. And she always claims that when she's cleaning something, she's doing it for free free, even though nobody even asked her to do it in the first place. And there's also one time as well where she actually got asked to leave the bathroom because she didn't ask permission beforehand. And that also begs the question, if she isn't asking McDonald's permission to clean their bathrooms when they're right there in front of her, she can't be asking the family members who lost a loved one if it's okay to clean their grave. But it's the grave cleaning videos that do the best on her TikTok account anyway. Some of them have got f***ing hundreds of millions of views. I mean, look at that. 139 million views. Well, we gotta watch that. Let's clean a random grave. Who do you think is buried here? Let's clean it and find out. I have so many questions. How old is this grave? It looks like it's been here for 500 years. How did this grave get so dirty? <laughs> Look, there's a tree growing out of it. I love plants. This transformation is extremely hard for me, but I believe everyone deserves a beautiful grave. Okay, so I did some research. A woman is buried here. This is like respectful, but also not. The vacuum felt so disrespectful. I mean, yeah, what, what the fuck is she doing? And she also decided to rip the flowers from the grave and put fake ones in there. I mean, those flowers aren't even fully dead yet. Somebody's clearly visited there recently. I'm not gonna lie, if someone did that to one of my family members, I'd be pretty pissed off. I'd be thinking, who the fuck do you think you are? They've been ripped out of their roots and replaced with fake sh flowers. Who the f touched my flowers? I go on TikTok the next day and then I find this cunt smothering pink moose all over the headstone. Not to mention as well that her style of content is clearly catered towards children. I just got these super cool gloves. Guys, I just found some crazy graves over here. I have to clean them next. Starting with you. I'll take care of you, little guy. But good news? Pretty colors. It's just pure brain rot. Feels like she's talking to some toddlers. Like what fucking iPad kid is gonna be sat there watching grave cleaning videos? And then if you couple her style of content with the reason why she's claiming to do this, which is a selfless act, it just seems really disingenuous. Like to choose what grave you were gonna clean that day, you threw a pink bouncy prickly ball. It's not the first prick I've seen today. And when I say disingenuous, it's because if you compare her grave cleaning videos with other content creators that do the same thing, it's a very different story. The other creators I've seen doing some grave cleaning are very gentle. They give a lot of history behind the gravestone. Well, not the gravestone, but the person that's buried there. The gravestone was probably made by some sort of gravestone maker. But the other creators, they're very respectful about it, very peaceful. They ask permission from the family members. They give a long history about the person's life that was buried there. Unlike this person who just 
fucking reads the plaque. Okay, so I did some research. A woman is buried here. Maria Lugo Texador. She died on the 19th of January. Welcome back, guys. Today I'm cleaning some gravestones. This is the gravestone I picked out. And as we can see, Joe died and is buried under here. Aww. But we need to conduct some intense research to find out his full name. Joe. Joe Mama. Oh, no. I just got fooled by Joe Mama. I mean, it just seems like a fucking pathetic. Like she's doing it for the shits and giggles. But as I already mentioned, the grave videos are her most popular videos. And she really does cross the line with them. Which leads perfectly onto my next point. What does she do to these gravestones that's so bad? So what does she do to these gravestones that's got people riled up? Well, as we've already seen previously, she f***. Vacuums them. Imagine going on TikTok and seeing your loved one's resting place being rammed by a fucking vacuum. But she can also be seen as inconsiderate as well because there's certain cleaning products that can actually damage the stone itself, as we can see here on Google. Does cleaning gravestones damage them? Removing historic stone material from the surface will destroy a stone's natural protective skin and cause the stone great harm over a short time. So who knows? Maybe her product has certain chemicals in it that could actually be damaging the stone itself. I mean, does she even consider that? Or is she just thinking about the vows? But ladies and gentlemen, she doesn't just scrub them down with her pink solution. She also f***ing paints them. Making her corner of the world beautiful again is the least I can do. I'm so grateful to everyone who follows me to do these transformations. So this is what the gravestone looked like after she cleaned it. And then this is it at the end. She f***ing lathered the thing in white paint. Oh, uh... A wonderful and selfless of her. Like, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below, but doesn't this just seem somewhat disrespectful? You know, even a little bit. Like, painting somebody else's gravestone without permission. Who the fuck wants that? Like, arguably, you know, it could be a good thing. Some people might really appreciate it. That's totally fine. But at least ask permission before But her cleaning product is also on sale. And we'll dive into that a little bit later. But it's truly misleading. You're making people think that you just cleaned this grave completely spotless. But actually, you just painted over the marks. And it's very interesting as well. Because she doesn't even mention the fact that she's painted the tombstone. Clearly, she knows that if she was to address this, she'd receive a lot of hate. Not just for painting somebody else's property, but too misleading lead in the customer. There's an abandoned grave in here. I'm gonna clean it today for free. I have no idea who's buried here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This grave is huge. I knew this would be hard to clean, but this is crazy. I just keep uncovering more and more. My mind is swirling with questions. How did all this get so buried? Can their family find this headstone when they visit? <sighs> After a whole day of cleaning, I could finally read the name. Doris Lugo. But we're only just starting to uncover her mystery. I know Doris was born August 14th, 1945, and she passed away February 1st, 1995. But who put Doris in the forest? Who put Doris in the forest? What the f- what the f- are you talking about? Unfortunately, Doris passed away, and when people pass away, they get buried in their final resting place. Why are you making it sound like as if you just uncovered a dead body that had been murdered a hundred years ago? Only just starting to uncover her mystery. I know Doris was born August 14th, 1945. I kept wondering what her life was like. Who did she love? Was she pretty? Did she have a dog? I tried to find more information online, and I found nothing. Yeah, the authenticity of your actions is truly seeping through right now. Quick little flash of your own product right there. Just a quick little one. But not just that, but the way you're talking about the deceased person just doesn't seem like you actually give a f I wonder if this dead person had a dog. Mm. Did you have brothers or sisters? I wonder what car did this person drive? I can't wait to uncover this mystery. The mystery is, love, is that this person passed away. And this person belonged to a family. What are you f***ing talking about? I think you guys would be greatly concerned if I popped up on YouTube one day in a graveyard talking like an absolute f***ing psychopath. And if she couldn't seep any f lower than she already has. She also goes to disturb baby's gravestones. Cleaning an abandoned grave. This is the tiniest grave I've ever seen. I wonder who's buried here. <gasps> this is a baby's grave. I'm gonna make it look beautiful again. Immediately, my heart filled with so many emotions. This grave makes me so sad. This is extremely hard for me. I just want to go home and pet my dog, but I can't stop. I need to keep going for baby Luis Alfredo Lozada Ruiz. Baby Luis deserves a beautiful resting place. He passed away October 18th, 1982. I tried to learn more about baby Luis. Who was your mom and dad? What was your life like? Did you have any sisters? But I found nothing. I can't imagine the pain your family went through. I hope they found their peace. Yeah, well, they had found their peace. 
Uh, until you fucking came along. First things first, once again, just the absolute disrespect when she's talking about the baby's grave. She has set the content up as if it is catering towards a child audience. Like, why are you talking like that? As if you're on the fucking Disney channel. And uh, just by all the questions you're asking, I'm guessing you probably didn't ask the family for permission, did you? And she also found the baby's blanket as well, by the looks of it. And uh, she washed it. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing quite like washing the memories away from a blanket belonging to somebody else's deceased baby. I truly get a kick out of it. Look, feel free to tell me down below if I'm looking too much into it, but I've got a jumper that belonged to one of my deceased loved ones, and if somebody washed that, I'd be pretty fucking pissed. Do you know what I mean? Why did you wash the blanket? That might have been the last memory and smell the parents had of him. You did not clean the memories off the blanket. Oh yeah, she also fucking painted the baby's grave as well. How thoughtful. Why are people hating? Some people are hating because she doesn't ask for permission most of the time. Huh, <laughs> most of the time? That's the understatement of the century. Try fucking every time. Like, cleaning random graves is one of the most hated videos. And she cleans the toys of dead people. It could be the last thing they touched. Cleans the toys of dead people. Well, that leads perfectly onto my next point. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, she goes to clean a baby's grave because that's all of her business, isn't it? And there was these little stuffed animals that probably belonged to the baby that the parents left there as memories and she just fucking washed them. A little baby was buried here. I'm gonna clean her grave for free. Just to interrupt quickly, she keeps saying, I'm gonna clean this for free. Well, how noble of you. Sorry, I just wanted to inquire, but who asked you? I couldn't believe how young she was when she passed away. There's eight teddy bears on her grave. They were so dirty and sad looking. I thought of her mother placing each one down in honor of her daughter. I couldn't put these bears back as they were, so I hand washed each of them. Genesis lived a short life. She died the same day she was born, but you can tell she's deeply missed. Thank you to all my followers who support me to do these transformations. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that she has painted the grave and also washed all the memories away from the teddies. People disagree with their actions, I don't know what else to tell you. Just comment down below, let me know your opinion. You can look at it from two point of views. Yes, she is making the graves look cleaner and more presentable, but on the other hand, is the family members happy with that? Is that what they want? Did you ask? No, you f***ing didn't. It's just as simple as a moral code. It's just absent with her. But this also transitions very well into the point that I'm about to say, which is why? Why is she doing it? Well, as she's explained already, ladies and gentlemen, she's doing it for free. A random act of kindness <laughs> that nobody asks you to do. But in my opinion, it's clear why she's doing it. She's using this pink product of hers in every single video, and the videos get millions of views. And this pink cleaning solution that she uses is actually listed on her website, but it's not for sale yet. Let's take a look. Hey, I'm the clean girl. It means everything to me that you're supporting my journey in making the world a better place. Magic foaming spray, coming soon. The most satisfying cleaning spray you'll ever use. Cleaner than ever before, simpler than traditional methods, and brighter than your cleanest dreams. And you can join the waitlist, apparently. You know, all this fucking bollocks is uh, really giving me the pink sauce lady vibes. You know, when she was promoting her pink sauce on TikTok and everybody just couldn't wait to get their hands on it, and then she released it and it turned out to be shit. Kind of the same thing, it's, you know, similar. But the difference between the pink sauce lady and the clean girl is that the pink sauce lady's downfall came after she release the product. This clean girl's downfall is happening right now before the product. And as I showed previously, as she's cleaning the graves, she'll sometimes whip out her product and promote it for a couple of seconds. It's just using the views that she's getting from this controversy to push her product out into the market. And she makes it seem like some sort of f***ing magic cleaning solution, but it's not as good as it looks. This is a gravestone before she cleaned it, and this is after she used the clean girl solution. No, it's f***ing not. That's after she painted it. This is what it looked like after. Let me get this straight though, you are cleaning gravestones without asking for permission and then using the controversial conversation that is around your videos to promote your clean girl solution. Yeah, if that isn't the most f***ed up thing I've ever heard in my life. I mean, you've cleaned babies' gravestones without asking for permission and you knew that was going to create a controversial response. But it was all to promote your f***ing product, wasn't it? I mean, do you not have any sort of moral code whatsoever? And the final question on our hands is how? How was she allowed to do this? Well, she f***ing not, it's simple, she's not allowed. But as far as I'm aware, according to Google, yes, it is illegal to paint graves. Apparently, it's considered intentionally vandalizing. Who knows if it's actually illegal, but if there is someone watching the video, it would be awesome if you could let us know in the comments, but if it isn't illegal, it f***ing 
and should be. But just put yourself in the family member's shoes. She didn't ask you for permission. You go on TikTok, you see your deceased family member's gravestone, and you got her acting like a fucking idiot doing some Disney Channel bullshit. It just feels disrespectful. It, it feels wrong. I mean, I think the only way that she would be allowed to clean the graves is if she got permission, or unless she actually worked on the cemetery grounds. I searched up, am I allowed to randomly clean someone's grave? And the first thing that came up, it says, it is not acceptable to take it upon yourself to clean the headstones without permission, without learning the correct methods or not using approved materials. You may, however, clean your own family member's stones. Is she cleaning her own family member's stones? I don't f think so. But what I'm really interested in is finding out what you guys think. Uh, my conclusion, um, I do believe this is wrong. Unlike other creators who have also done the same thing, they actually ask permission, they give a big history into the person that's buried there. The whole video is just them talking peacefully about the person's grave they're cleaning, and it seems very respectful compared to this person who is on some new level brain rot. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, leave a like on the video, and check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy the other ones also.